Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing, guys. I'm going to be telling you guys about this reel wash. You don't want to hose your uh, rod and reels down anymore. You don't want to flush water through them. You just want to spray them down and wipe them down. I'll be telling you guys about that later on. But uh, I'm about to go out here and uh, try to end it with a bang right here on star tournament last day of the tournament gonna give it a real hard swing gonna start off with a stick bait I got a jig ready for plastics and I'm gonna throw a jig color of a chartreuse and white it's a bugs jig head Bugs feather jig. Tighten up on my drag and get ready. You want to loosen off your drag too. Every time you come in, loosen off your drag. So I'm about to get ready to do a little quick wait. Get back with you guys when I get on the fish. Tide is way up. I want y'all to know I'm hooked up and I haven't even got in the water yet. Big bait, redfish. Rat red, but still a redfish. Stick bait. First thing this morning, as soon as I got in here, I rigged the stick bait up this morning just for this. I just need a tag one time. Hope I don't run them out of my scare they get. Another day, different result. 
hold on, hold on. Make this quick, simple, and easy. I'm use these snap ring pliers. I don't don't have any pliers. These are gonna have to do. It help me keep my stick bait from getting too tore up. If he calm down, he ain't legal. But they're out there. So let me see if I can get on them real quick. Pretty little redfish this morning. Just for measurement's sake, I'll measure. Mosquitoes are kind of acting a little bit of a donkey. 18 inch redfish. He's gone. The only thing about in the shallows, you hit one fish, the rest of them get out of here. Dark cloud building up behind me, so I'm out. I hit one redfish right at dark. They were in there just eating up stuff early this morning, but they were all small redfish. I don't think it was any keepers in there. The first one I hit was 18 inches and uh, hit them on a stick bait. Thought I was going to get into them real good, but there's no bait activity out here today and the wind is up and uh, I'm out, that hard hitter, always going hard trying to get him, but today I'm going to have to let him make it, man. I don't know how this wind sock does out here with this uh, look wind sock that I got on it. I'll turn this other camera on here, uh, wipe it off a little bit. Windy day out here, man. Early this morning, I hit one redfish right at the beginning of the day, and then that was it, man. And uh, I'm not mad. The redfish weren't in here real, real good, but they were all small redfish, look like. And like I said, a dark cloud is forming up there behind me, so that's on the uh, surf. You know, the surf side, I'm on the bay side. That's on the gulf side, so. I heard it rumbling earlier. Try to drag my feet and don't get stung by a stingray. Get my butt on in here. Gave it a shot. Got me a little bit of footage of a real pretty 18 inch redfish. Can't be mad at that a small window and I hit it by getting out here early. At least I got hooked up before I got ran out. Wind's picking up and that big dark cloud is just forming. Just creeping on over here. So I'm going to creep on in trying to fast creep. So I'll get back with you guys later. I got to get in here. Somebody wanted that baby croaker. Saw you and now he decides he wants to leave. Acting like a small redfish. No, gaff top. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I said, that ain't no trout. 
That's why I said redfish. They throw up slicks worse than trout will. I got into them real good one day and the guy told me, man, they're good. Cause I caught one on a mirror lure one time. So I, okay, I ate that one. Man, I got into them real good and had a ton of them. After about that third filet, I was like, you know what, I'm enough of this. Yeah. Top dollar, come here. <laughs> I don't want no more. I ain't that good. Too strong. Get over here and beat the rocks up, I guess, Grady. Gonna be the only ticket. Nope. I think I saw gaff top. I saw whiskers, yep. And you find a <laughs> you, find, you find a family, you'll find a family. That's, Big enough to head shake, that's all. Yeah. Grady put on bait and gaff top. They said they appreciate. <laughs> they, they, ob yeah. they obliged him right away. Well, cat up by the truck. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. There's a, there's quite a few of them here. I guarantee you. Little redfish. Have a tag on you. I don't know. Might be. Nah. Close enough to measure. Nope. Not even close enough to measure. Just a pretty fish. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Can't you close to the rock? Yeah. I was actually kind of halfway looking at him almost. Saw something kind of yeah. hanging over there. You want that go, huh, buddy? Well, I appreciate the fight. Good one. I wish you had a tag and you were a keeper. You'd be dinner and a paycheck. Cause I ain't gonna keep nothing that I win out of that deal. I'll sell a boat and the truck. Hey man, if you just wait a minute, I'll help you out, hey buddy. All you have to do is just wait a minute, I'll help you out. Thank you for, uh, Liking that go. Now that, that's all that wetting me up. You probably got my camera with. That's enough, man. Chill out. Get the thing out of here if you just hold on. Acting a donkey fool. Huh? Buy one to catch. Yeah. Slime on my coffee. Trouble fish, 18 inches. Yeah. One of them generic ones anyway, you got all the multiple spots. That's what I'd be thinking when they got all those spots with their form raised. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. You can tell everybody you're famous. You made TV. You, you got on here with the hard hitter. 
Yeah, man. Now go tell your big sister with the tag on. Get on about your business. Go on. Worked and worked and found me a bite. Pretty cool. Take that deal off. See how much water he got on my screen. A big old puddle of Yeah, it's always I work work this point now. Let's see what happens. Mr. Sylvester's hole here. He loves coming over here. You can't you can't go no further than that fence and he loves to come over here. He says out towards that pole, I think that's what he does. Oh, you can't wait past the fence? Uh-uh. Homeland Security? Yeah. Kayak, boat or nothing. Where? Up there. Oh no, not 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 this year. Not I did earlier, you know, before me and my brother started going to Freeport. Yeah. It was, you know, so many small redfish, we didn't keep doing it. We had some good ones and then a lot of small fish. It was a grind, put it like that. We had to work the rocks from the boat all the way around, yeah. trying to find them every time. He's got a spot in Freeport. He just goes and anchor off and soaks mullet and gets them. Yeah, something hit it. See, he got the tail off. He missed the hook. Folded the tail up. He had him a mouthful. Well, wrap this, <laughs> uh, a non-productive episode up. <laughs> Y'all was looking for some footage, we ain't got none. Uh, yeah, I, I just told Grady, I didn't give up, they just didn't give in. <laughs> Matt man, do not. Fish your spot on low tide or full moon. I saw your turtles, your sea turtles, but that's it. Yeah, that was on the other side, and, and that was after schools of them were uh, running bait like crazy, man. I thought it was gonna be Christmas all over in, in August. Throw a bait in there and they're smashing. Try to stick bait or gulp or mullet gulp. Oh boy. He walked up on a redfish telly. Carol yeah, needed to be in my brother's boat soaking the mullet up there by the rocks. That's what we do. Put him up there by the rocks, you ain't got to worry about no piggy or nothing. When somebody answers the door, it's somebody. Except you got in the gaff top on live. That was crazy. Could have been where I was pushing them slicks up. Then them dolphin moved in. 
output.